guys, Flippin' Landlord Ninja here with two guys take on real estate. So today we're actually going through a lot of stuff. We got some foreclosure auctions. We have a wholesale deal we're gonna go check up on. We got a scope of work and we're gonna be checking up on a contractor. And if you like uh, wholesales, let me know, yes or no, in the comments below. As always, we're here to pay it forward so you guys can learn from our mistakes. So let's start off with the foreclosure auction. Two guys take on real estate. repair costs are going to be. As you can first see, you can see there's uh, some coil that's already off. Unfortunately, there's snow on the roof, so we don't have a general idea of what the condition of the roof's going to be like. Uh, but if you look at the porch, the uh, deck boards are clearly uh, you know, need us some love. Uh, it does have newer windows, so that can be uh, The vinyl siding looks for the most part of the uh, We do have a newer chimney. We're walking around. Which is really good. We might be able to look at the window into the window since it is vacant. So up and then we got we can put it into this. like there's a leak because uh yeah the ceiling's all down and the fan blades are all all drooping which means there's a lot of moisture in there so we probably got a lot of a big mold issue do I hear 50,000? Do I hear 50,000? 50,000. 50 now 60. 60. 55, I have 55 now 60. 55 now 60. Fifty now fifty five. Fifty five, I got now seventy. Seventy. Seventy now seventy five. Seventy thousand now seventy five. Seventy five, I got. Post yours blocking you. That's it. Seventy five, I got. Seventy five now eighty. You're at seventy five. Oh. Don't want to bid myself up. No, you can. Come on, what are you doing, Casey? <laughs> 75, now 80. 80, I got now 85. 80, now 85. All right, so we didn't win that foreclosure auction. Uh, so we're on to the next thing for the day. We have another foreclosure auction. So we're going to try to get there as soon as we can so we can hopefully scope it out. All right, guys, so we're at the next uh, foreclosure auction, so I'm going to try to get uh, a better view inside before everyone else shows up. So hopefully we can win this one, because the last one we got crazy bidding war and didn't wasn't able to get it. But uh, let's see what we can do with this one. Thanks, guys. One hour later. All right, guys, that auction was a no-go. Uh, bank bought it back for 69 and change. 
We'd have to have bid, bid, uh, bid 70. Our number was, uh, well, we figured 57,000. We would have probably gone to 60. Um, but uh, once again, stick to your numbers. Uh, so look, freaking my toes are freezing. Uh, we're going to go find a gas station and get a charging cable because I'm at 40%. And an idiot like I am, I forgot my cable since we took uh, Tyler's car. So we're going to go find that cable. And then we're going to head on to the wholesale deal that someone brought us. So we can go check that out, see if that's worth buying. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. So we're at the uh, wholesale deal. It's a two-family on Stoddard Road in Pittsfield. So we're kind of just walking around, checking out. We can't get inside right now, but uh, wow, this needs a lot of work. So let me uh, kind of show you what we got. So kind of showing you a little bit. So porch work needs to be worked on, uh, siding. So you're going to have to concern yourself with lead. It does have tenants. Uh, we've got a, a slate roof up here. So there's a good chance that's got to get replaced. Let's kind of walk around real quick, see what we can see. So yeah, that porch needs, someone did some new steps, but I mean, the whole thing needs to be taken apart and redone. You only got a four by four post. You need at least a six by six right now uh, for code. Um, so you got two electric meters. That's good. Looks like you got some old oil fill there. Obviously some lead issue, you know, or not lead, but uh, fence work needs to get looked at. Uh, you're gonna wanna coil up at the, the fascia and the soffit. Um, yeah, I mean, all new windows, which is good, I guess. Kind of look at the pros and the cons. So it does have a newer heating system of some sort there, hunting out. Got no backyard. So this one needs a lot of work. Uh, we're gonna have to really run numbers so we can uh, re uh, reply to the, the wholesaler and see realistically, because like he was asking, I think 69. I really don't see 69 on this. We just had an auction that went for 69. It was vinyl sided in much better shape, right? Yeah. I mean, so I don't know. I think this one, uh, I mean, you got old foundation. So I don't know. I don't think this is gonna work, but uh, we'll see. All right, so we just got the third street. We uh, have a four family here that we actually won at foreclosure auction. We're just kind of checking up on the uh, gentleman that we actually made a deal with where he'd actually be able to live in one of the units while he renovates that unit and does stuff for the common area. Unfortunately, uh, he has not been fully living up to his part of the agreement, so we're just kind of doing a little checkup on him and uh, seeing where he's at, and then we might just have to send him a little nasty gram. So uh, we're gonna take you out and show you that. Let's go check it out. So this is the four family. Uh, so one of the things that he was supposed to do was actually take care of the back door right here. That's not done. Uh, he was supposed to build a fence over here. That's not done. Uh, we also got a, you know, trash back here. It's just not ideal. Uh, we got plywood just kind of hanging out over here. Go check the front common hallway. Come on, Tyler. Let's do it. Got some barrels here. That was, he was supposed to dress that paint before uh, winter hit, but he didn't do that. Oh my God, this, all this mail here. Jesus. So, what the heck? Um, so yeah, this is from the common hallway. We're gonna need to clean up. All right, we're gonna take all that mail out and clean it up. That's a safety issue. All this mail, we're just gonna, you know, if you wanna grab, start grabbing it, we're just gonna throw it in the trash. 
Yeah, uh, so you're supposed to repaint the hallway here. And none of that is done. So, frustrating. Can't freaking get good help these days. What the hell? Yeah, so all this has got to get dressed. So we got new tenants here, some stuff in the common hallway. At least it's out of the way, it's not a fire hazard, so that's good. But we got some crack up on the ceiling he was supposed to address right up there. So yeah. All right, so we're gonna have to send a nasty gram to this guy. I'm gonna take some pictures and uh, go on, move on to our next thing. Uh, so we're actually at uh, 53 Chickering Street in Pittsfield, and we're here to do a scope. So we're gonna walk around, go room by room, and you know everything that we need to do to get this compliant. We also have lead reports, so we're gonna go. You have that pen for the lead reports. That marker? Yeah, it's... It's in the car. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna walk through here and uh, mark up everything that's lead, so that, that means it's gotta get removed. Yeah, we're gonna go through everything and uh, kind of write up the full scope of work so that we can uh, work with a contractor uh, that we have a couple picked up locally and get things done. We'll also have our electricians uh, go through and replace all the outlets. We always do that new uh, devices and fixtures, so new light fixtures, new switches, new outlets, and go through everything uh, and make sure everything is compliant. Uh, so yeah, so that we can either rent this out or sell it, whatever we decide to do. We might actually have to rent this one out for another year because there is a little title issue that we technically can't sell for one more year. Uh, so it might be something that we have to sit on for another year before we really can find a realistic buyer. So yeah, so that's kind of what we're doing here and I'll just walk us through and kind of go from there. Tyler's gonna do me the favor of actually writing everything down. Uh, we got all this paneling in this room. Ugh. So I don't know if there's horsehair plaster underneath this or what. Don't know. Ugh. Uh, look at that freaking ceiling tile. Disgusting. It's so dated. Uh, the flooring. So it's had carpet on it. We got that all gone. Uh, we got steam heat here. As you can tell. Uh, luckily, you know, windows have been updated. I mean, we got mismatched outlet color covers and everything. Mismatching flooring. Look at this, like, huge... Yeah, look at that. So we got this huge, like, kind of like a uh, step up there. That's crazy. That's, that's a tripping hazard. So I don't know if we're going to have to, you know, basically either build this floor up or take that floor down. Ugh. More paneling. Jesus. All right, it's just, it's gonna be a fun one. Very dated fixtures. You know, it's an all new light fixtures. Uh, all the corridors. All right, kitchen's a full redo. I mean, these cabinets can't really be saved and reused. This is, I mean, I don't know what the hell this is. Look at this. Got down here, a little pantry. All right. Bathroom has a bathroom look. Get out there. Ooh, that's a okay. At least it matches. The tub and the toilet and the sink kind of match. <laughs> Flooring. Oof. Toilet, it's crooked. All right. Oh. All right, so we're just about done with the punch list uh, for scope of work, I mean. Uh, we just gotta go on the outside, but we got all the inside. It took us a couple hours, but we're just about done. All right, so we got some foundation repair. Um, railings look okay. There's some basement windows that have lead issues. <clears throat> Anywhere, so basically let's mark 
any windows, old windows that need to be, uh, they need to have lead, uh, they need to have coil around them. That's the main thing, I just don't. All, uh, all windows, basically, any missing windows, like over here, here you go. So. So this basement window right down here. So you see this basement window? What we can do for this one, since we have cellar windows everywhere else, let's just uh, board up. We can just board it right up. So cover it with plywood and then paint the plywood. So that's just the easiest route right there and that'll make it light compliant. So board. Board basement window. Yeah. Um, and then paint the plywood white, you said? Uh, probably going to go a gray to match kind of the uh, foundation. All right, so over here on the garage, we need to have it all coiled. So we're going to look at all these windows need to be covered and coiled. We also have a broken window here. We're going to need to address that. The soffit, the fascia, it's all got to get coiled. It's got loose paint on it all around the garage, so the garage doors. All this needs to be uh, coiled. Yeah, I see all the loose paint, it's uh, lead and stuff. Also, we wanna fill the block down here as well. See the face kinda came off. So let's fill that, yeah. Uh, let's replace that light fixture up there. Uh, make sure we also get these windows on the side here all covered and coiled. Uh, we do need to have the gutters. Uh, if you look up there, the, the gutters need to be repaired. There's no downspout there. There's stuff growing out of them. So it looks like the hangers are broken. So let's get that addressed as well. Um, so we talked about the foundation. Uh, new light fixture over here uh, by the door here. Uh, we have mailboxes are fine. Uh, this window right here, this basement window. So we're gonna be removing the uh, dryer vent from here and uh, we're gonna wanna board up this whole window, just like the other window I think we talked about. Um, let's have them remove uh, the satellite dish and then make sure they repair the siding. And uh, when they're replacing, uh, repairing this whole side porch here, we gotta fix the skirt. And as well as the gunner up here is also uh, broken and fall not even really there. So let's address that. We gotta, you know, just kind of shore up the fence. It's uh, kind of tilting. I think that's it. I think that's pretty good. Uh, we actually, no, wait, hold on, hold on. We need to have the electricians look at this. Look at the fraying around the uh, meter or the, see the line coming into the, there's a lot of fraying there. We might just be able to get the electric company to fix that, but that's got to get looked at. So, that does not look kosher to me. They're fraying around electrical. Yeah. On the outside meter socket. Uh, I think that's going to need to get addressed. And that is a wrap. All right, so uh, that's that we are now get to head all the way back to the office. But that's uh, that was today. That was a pretty productive day, right, Tyler? Yeah, very productive. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so once again, this is Matt with uh, Two Guys Take on Real Estate. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I uh, hope everything was helpful. Uh, do me a favor, hit subscribe, share this with someone else, uh, and uh, I'll see you guys again. Thanks, guys.